Guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So I'm going to be having a look at the Red 5 Retro Games controller, which I got for half price. It wasn't £18, it was only £9, um, and it was gifted to me. So it's not something I probably would pick up, but I thought, let's make a video about it. Let's see what it's all about, and you can make your decision if it's worth buying for you. Without further ado, let's have a quick look at it. Okay guys, so this is the Red 5 Retro Games controller. You might have seen this in some stores such as uh, Boots, which is obviously where this is from. Um, but you can also get it from Menkind. Um, I'm not sure what other stores so sell it. You might find it in uh, like Home Bargains or something like that. Or John Lewis's. Places like that. I've seen it in many different places. Now I'm not really sure it's worth £18. Um, but one of my... Uh, my daughter actually bought this for me and it was only £9. So it was half price and the Boxing Day sales, and it's titled as a kind of a retro games controller, Pocket Arcade 8-bit controller, um, and it's got 100 plus games, 100 <laughs> LCD screen, that type of thing. It's for ages 6 and plus, um, and it's very basic. It does look kind of like one of those um, Nintendo controller style things. I think that's what it's going for, but it's not got Nintendo games on it. It's basically a bunch of shareware titles, I think, by the looks of it. But anyway, let's open the box and let's see what we get inside. So inside the box, this is all you get. It's mostly cardboard, to be honest. Um, you've got your unit itself. There is a little carry um, thing that you can tie to the corner if you want. So there is also an instruction manual inside the box. Not really sure you need it, but there's some shortcuts there for all the buttons that are used if you need to um, refer to that. Um, but let's have a look at the actual unit itself. And as I said, it does look a little bit like a Nintendo Game & Watch thing. Um, it is a lot fatter though, you can see it's definitely thicker. And this is where you can tie the, the sort of, uh, ribbon that you get with it if you want to maybe put it in your pocket or something, I don't know. But that's the on off switch. On the back um, is your battery compartment. It is three AAA batteries that it's needed to run. Um, and it's got retro arcade in the front of it, game controller. This is your D-pad. You've got one single speaker. You've got an A and B button. Um, and there's a different, few different settings there. One, I think one's start, one's for the sound, and another one is, I think it's start. In fact, I think this one at the top goes back. It's a refresh button, and this is your start button here. But need to be careful. Sometimes the B button does kick back to the main menu as well. But yeah, let's plug this on. Let's have a look at the games briefly. So as you can see here, it's very much like one of those Chinese knockoffs that you might get. But none of these are like NES titles. They're, it really seems like a bunch of shareware games that's included. Uh, this middle button here is the volume button. Press it a few times, it goes through a different settings um, and allow this. But I'll put it down to one of the lowest ones just now so you can hear me. Um, you can see here, there's tons of games, but yeah, there's certainly a good bit of variety here. Uh, I mean, you might enjoy some of these games. Probably a few knockoff style stuff there. You obviously got Rocket Man, not really sure it's like Mega Man, but there's a few knockoff names that might seem familiar, like Cubic Tower, I'm pretty sure that's probably like Tetris, that type of thing. Um, there's a few shooters, platformers, sporty games, driving games, that type of thing, and some card games too. Nothing too exciting, but what I'm going to do is jump into a couple of the games just to give you an idea what to expect here. Magic Pick. <laughs> I thought it said Magic Pig for a second there. There's some English there that just doesn't make sense. Not sure what that means. Circus Charlie. Let's have a look. So I think to start the games, you just press this button here. Um, and it kicks in. Oh yeah, I guess it's a bit of a knockoff of some of the arcade titles. But yeah, if you press B button, it does go back. Which is kind of annoying. Also, this button up the top here goes back. So just need to be careful. Um, which button you press, and obviously I've now went back to the top, there's no search function um, to find a, your favourite game, so it is a little bit annoying how it actually works. And that's kind of like an Iron Man style shoot 'em up game. Pretty basic stuff, nothing too exciting. And again, I don't like, really think this would be for your serious gamers out there at all. It might be one of these ones that you buy for your kids, or maybe even an aunt or uncle or a grandpa that's maybe not played games in about 30 years or something, I don't know, something like that. And for £9, 
it's probably not bad. I wouldn't have paid £18 for it. But for what it is, it's actually not too bad at all. As I said, the B button is used in some games for different um, shooting or whatever function it's used for, but sometimes it does kick you back to the main menu. Now there's not a lot of options, there's no saving, nothing like that. It is a very, very basic uh, game. Now it does say football, but it's really just a penalty taker thing. Pretty basic stuff. The sound's actually not too bad for a small unit. <laughs> but it is a, a little bit awful to be fair. <laughs> yep, it's pretty awful. Now you might find some good games in amongst here. There's tons to find. It says 150 in one. Um, yeah, there's 150. There might be some repeated games in there which I sometimes find. Let's see what Brick is. Hopefully that's... Oh, it's kind of a shooter game as well. Let's have a look. I mean, the games themselves aren't actually too bad. They're not, they're not the worst I've ever played. You might get some fun um, out of this. But it is pretty basic, it's certainly, as I said, it's not for a serious gamer. It might be for the kids. Give them a few minutes of fun, I guess. Um, it's probably one of these ones that might look cool in your collection, nonetheless, if you're a collector. Um, again, there might be some good games in here, there might be some awful ones. It really is hard to say. Elevator Action, another rip-off of um, Elevator Action, obviously. It actually looks not too bad. But I wouldn't expect too much from these games at all. <laughs> it seems to work to a point, a little bit sticky. To be honest, it isn't bad at all. Anyway guys, that's it. It's very basic, it's very simple, you might like it. If you can pick it up for a bargain, then why not? But 18 quid seems a, an awful lot for what it is. 9 quid, probably a bargain. So this is kind of like a parking game. Pretty basic, but yeah, it's obviously kind of a puzzle related. Like I said, you might find the odd game that you really enjoy in this. But it is basically shareware. Um, games that are added here, very simple, very basic, but you might get some fun out of it after all. For 9 quid, probably can't complain too much, it's not too bad at that. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching the video, catch you again in the next one, bye for now.